Hey YouTube, so I am back. No, I need to stop saying that. So how is everyone quarantining? <laughs> no. All right, I'm back with another Q&A video. So I posted on Instagram for you guys to leave me a question and I'll answer it. I went through all of them. There was a lot. And let me tell you, I wrote them down. I got page after page after page. So we're gonna get to it. How are you surviving the quarantine? Right now, of course, we are staying home with the kids. We are not trying to go out, not trying to be around any other people and we're social distancing. And I think everyone should be doing that right now. Do you think your mom will let you have Jace full time or no? He deserves to spend time with y'all. Right now, Jace lives with my mom. Of course, everyone knows that. I am slowly trying to convince her once again to just let Jace live with me so I don't have to take her to court. It costs a lot of money. Everyone has to testify on stand when you go to custody court. And that's not fun. And I don't want to throw dirt back and forth between both of us. And I would just like to settle, settle it civilly. <laughs> How are you? I am doing really well, actually. Um, since being back in North Carolina, I've been keeping busy, trying to keep my YouTube updated, social media, and I've just been chilling out, taking care of the kids, cleaning the house, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning I'm like a mad woman <laughs> because of this virus. <laughs> How pissed are you that they kept Amber but cut you? Now, this has been a question that everyone has asked me for a while. And honestly, it bothers me. I mean, I think that it's very unfair. And I didn't really do anything wrong. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> are you back with David? Yes. <laughs> Me and him are deciding to work things out right now. And um, we're taking it slowly. Yes, I know I came back to North Carolina. Yes, I'm living here permanently now. The reason why I came back to North Carolina is because I cannot afford rent and a mortgage. I have to choose one or the other. And I have a house here that I own. I don't own the apartment in Tennessee. So I decided to move back. And all the kids have their own space here. It's very spacious. We have 11 acres of land for them to play on. And you know, Kaiser and Ensley, they really miss the animals, really miss the chickens, the goats, everything. So we decided to come back here and things are going pretty smooth. Do you think the show Love is Blind is realistic? Um, I mean, I watched like the first episode and then I stopped watching it because I got uninterested. The only reason why I got uninterested in that show is because there were so many people and I couldn't keep up with the people that were on the show versus um, the Circle show on Netflix. That was phenomenal. I love that shit. It was so funny. How are your animals doing? My animals are doing great. We brought Rosie to the land, <laughs> as you guys call it. So we brought Rosie to the land and she has a great time with Junior, which is the Antolian Shepherd that we have. We had two Antolian Shepherds. Now we just have one. And the reason being is because when I was in Tennessee, the two dogs went to the end of the driveway and my driveway is 500 feet and then someone stole one of the dogs so we don't know where the other Antolian shepherd is to this day but we have told the police and they have been notified in animal control so hopefully maybe one day we'll find you know buddy it was his name so hopefully we'll find him why do you prefer mom jeans you would look flattering in yoga pants well i wear yoga pants like every single day <laughs> so you guys never see me in yoga pants, but I see myself in yoga pants every single day. I can't stand it. So when I take pictures or when I go somewhere professional, I like to, you know, dress casual and not in yoga pants so much. <laughs> I did yoga pants from the Renegade video and everyone's like, oh my God, is she pregnant? No, by the way, I'm not. Why are you on the land? Listen, you guys, I own this house and the apartment I don't own. 
I cannot pay for $1,700 there, $1,000 here, every single month for two places, when now I've been here for like two months. So there's no point in going back to Tennessee unless something changes like selling this house. And as of right now, I'm not planning on selling this house. Are you back in NC permanently? I said this earlier, but yes, I am. What TV show slash movie do you recommend to guarantee to make you laugh? So the show 100 Humans recently, <laughs> I've been watching it on Netflix. It's about 100 humans that they randomly chose and these three scientists they're doing different psychological experiments on everyone it's really funny to see how everyone reacts to the different experiments and some of the experiments don't even work out like the scientists thought was going to happen love the podcast with bunny thanks you guys if you check out the link below i'm going to post um it's the podcast to what i did two weeks ago when i'm to the in my living room no, I'm just kidding. But if you check out the link below I posted, it's gonna be Bunny's podcast, and it's part of the vlog I did two weeks ago that I posted, and it was me going to interviews, and we did the podcast. It was about 30 minutes long. It's really cool, so if you guys wanna check it out, click the link below. Has David changed any for you to go back to him? A lot of things have changed. Me and him have decided to just try to remain positive no matter what and if we have an issue we really need to talk it out i want to tell you guys that david has never abused the children he's never abused me i've always had disagreements and those would turn into big arguments and this is the reason why i decided to go back home and work out my relationship because ultimately it's for my family how is co-parenting with nathan <laughs> Um, it's fine. I mean, he hasn't really seen Kaiser much since we moved back to North Carolina because he's in Florida and his mom is in Tennessee. So Kaiser just FaceTimes with Nathan as of right now. Of course, the virus is going on, but you know, Nathan lives in Florida as well. So that's on him. Not a question, but you look so happy and relaxed. I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Will you guys own cows on your property? I really, really want to because I want to make milk, half and half, creamer, stuff like that. I want to cook with real milk versus store-bought milk and see how much different it tastes. I'm looking into that. Right now we have goats. We've tried to milk goats. That's fine. But our goat, Mary, she kind of doesn't like it right now. So we have a female goat, if you guys have seen on my Instagram story. And that female goat, we're going to try to raise and we're going to try to milk her. So... We'll see how good she is at that. <laughs> Have you ever tried British food? Do you like it or don't you? I've never tried British food. <laughs> I would love to try it. I would love to travel there. I have my passport, but I haven't used it yet. Of course, we can't travel for quite some time because of this virus, but maybe someday I will. <laughs> I think you are fantastic. I miss seeing your family. Thank you. You guys will be able to see my family more on YouTube. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do an interview with the kids next and see how that goes. How did you and David sort things out? So while I was in Tennessee, I'm not gonna lie, I contacted David first and I told him, I said, I'm sorry. And he contacted me back and he said, for what? And I said, I think we just ended things abruptly and I think we need to try to work things out for our family and our marriage. And he said, okay. So once we started talking again, um, you know, he did come visit two or three times. And when he did, before I moved back to North Carolina, I told him, I said, things have got to change. We cannot be so unhappy. We have to start communicating with each other about our problems and we have to sort it out. And we can't let the same thing keep happening or the same topic for an argument keep occurring. I watched you on Teen Mom since I was 10. I love you. Thanks. That is a long, long time. So now you're probably like 20, which is crazy because I was 16 when you watched me. How often do you get hair trims? I suggest getting hair trims every three to six weeks and that will keep your hair healthy and stay away from split ends. What are your favorite hobbies? So right now, 
obviously you guys know I'm into TikTok. So TikTok got me involved in resin art. It's a hobby for me. First of all, I'm gonna tell you guys because all you guys keep saying that I'm gonna sell it, but I don't know, maybe one day I will, but right now I'll probably do just some giveaways, whatever I make, but it's really fun. You guys should look into it. It's resin and you can buy molds for it, any type of molds, ashtray molds, ring molds, bracelets, keychains, necklaces. You can make fake crystals with like flowers in them. It's really cool. Are the kids' schools canceled? Right now they're actually on spring break, so they're lucky because they get a two week break while everyone's trying to figure out what to do next. Are you going back to Teen Mom? And if you are, will you still do YouTube? No, I'm not going back to Teen Mom, but I am still gonna do YouTube no matter what I do. I do have a project coming up. We don't know whether it's gonna be on TV or YouTube, we'll see but I'll keep you guys updated. How did you get past everything with David? I think things got so bad into our relationship where I was so unhappy that I needed to come out of it. And I feel like the only way to come out of it was if I were to distant myself. So I distant myself for a little bit and I realized that's not what I wanted and I needed to work out my marriage and I didn't want another failed marriage and I just wanted the kids to be happy. How are you keeping the kids busy during self distancing? So right now they're currently in the pool. Insert clip here. Hey you guys, wave. And that's been keeping them very occupied. Other than that, I mean, Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, that's about it. Um, we go outside, I have them collect eggs for me in the morning and we milk the goat, so that's a lot of fun. How tall are you? I'm only 5'2", and my mom's 4'11", which is crazy. How do you feel about the coronavirus? Now, a lot of people have their opinions and mine is just keep your hands clean, just stay away from people right now and keep to yourself, keep occupied. I had the flu back when we had New York Fashion Week, I think it was 2018, and I brought Ensley and Marissa with me to New York Fashion Week and we all had the flu suddenly when we got there. And the whole time we were, bed, we were on bed rest and it was really, really hard for us to even just eat. We got over it. So I think the virus might be just like the flu, if not a little less. And I know that older people are more affected by this virus than younger people. So we're just self distancing, cooking at home, not ordering out and just chilling. Do you use any root touch up on your grays? No, I don't. I just let my grays grow out and I haven't done nothing to them. How often do you guys go out? The last time we went out was when all oh, you guys took a picture of it and we went to the Jason Aldean bar and we went to the speakeasy. So that was like a month ago. How are you handling everything right now? Everything's going pretty smooth. I'm just trying to keep busy, you know, keep the kids occupied, keep food rolling out, <laughs> keeping the house clean, laundry done, you guys updated. So I'm doing pretty good. Can I see your feet? No, bro, you can't. That is some weird ass question, but whatever floats your boat. How are things now that you're back? Things are pretty good. Like I said, the kids are happy here and we're all happy here as a family. Feeling pretty blessed because I just realized you know, when I was gone, what I was missing, and I wanted to come back home, and I did. And I'm happy I did. What are you doing to prep for COVID-19? I bet y'all have everything on the land. <laughs> yeah, you guys thought we were dumb for buying this land. Well, look at you now. <laughs> My neighbors aren't coughing on me. What are we doing? <laughs> Sorry. What are we doing? Um, Like I said, keeping the house clean making sure everyone washes their hands, stay away from people, what everyone's saying on the news, basically. Do you wish you weren't still on TV? I think you are one of the most real moms. Thanks, I appreciate that compliment. 
Do I wish I was still on TV? Yes and no. Yes, because I want to continue sharing my story with all of you, but no, because sometimes it gets really, really heavy. And then I get into my head and I get emotional. I still got a lot of questions for y'all. What are you working on right now business wise? So right now I'm working on a project and it's going to be awesome. I'll be able to announce it once my contract with MTV expires, which will be the 27th of March, about 10 days. So once that expires, then I'll be able to tell all of you and promote and it will be exciting. So yeah, I have stuff planned. I just can't discuss it right now because it's in the works. I miss you so much on TV. What's your next move? Basically just set it, working on a project. Don't know if it's on TV, YouTube or whatever, but we'll find out soon. How is the situation with the virus where you are at? I hear that there are confirmed cases here in North Carolina. Everyone needs to self distance. David just went to the grocery store to get some food this morning and everything's basically sold out. The grocery store in Leland, which is 30 minutes from me, is shutting down. And that's where my grocery store gets their shipments from. So my grocery store said they're gonna try to stay open, but they doubt they'll be able to because they are running out of food. So that's kind of scary because food's running out because people are panicking. People can't work to restock the food. People aren't getting paid for to buy food for themselves. It's like, what do we do? How are you and your mom doing? We're doing pretty good. You wanna see how she is? We're gonna call her. <laughs> Y'all, she's like freaking out about the virus. If this was an emergency right now, she's not answering. Please leave your message for 910. I know you guys wanna hear from her, so I'm trying, trying. She won't answer. I tried. She'll try to call back. Maybe. We'll see. Is it true you are losing sponsorships because you were back with David? No. That's not true. I know everyone has heard lately that I've been losing sponsorships. No, I haven't been losing them. I've been kindly taking down my posts because they just asked me to. Did I have to? No. Was I fired? No. Are you stocked up on toilet paper? Um, yes and no. I mean a little bit. You guys need to stop taking it. I need it. <laughs> I need more. Where did all the chickens and geese go? The chickens and geese are still here. They're just out and about. Now that they're not babies anymore, they, they free roam. So we let them go wherever they want and they're usually in the field beside our house. How does it feel to be so irrelevant after being famous once? I do feel like I'm still relevant because you guys cannot stop digging into my life and knowing what I'm up to. But it's okay, I love you too. How's the stomach? The stomach's doing okay. Um, if you guys haven't heard, I have esophagus issues. They found out after doing a barium swallow and an acid 24 hour pH test that I have a hyperactive esophagus, which they said they do not know what causes it. They don't know how to cure it. I just live with it. So sometimes I get esophageal spasms. They happen out of nowhere, usually after spicy foods or hot foods, like temperature wise hot. So I just gotta watch my diet. Do you miss Oak Island? Yes, actually I do. And um, during the summer, I do go visit from time to time, just because I like to see where I grew up in my childhood, where Teen Mom 2 began. Do you find it difficult to be single? Yes and no. I know you guys are like, what is she talking about? Because she hasn't been single for long, ever in her life. All right, yeah, we all know this, but <laughs> I do not do good being single. So yeah, I guess it's difficult because I can't even answer your question. Will you do an honest Q&A beside David? Yes, I will. I'll upload that soon, maybe a month or two from now. What is Kiefer doing with his life? I heard he's in jail. How are you juggling all the kids? 
I think keeping them occupied is key. If you do not keep them occupied, you're gonna go crazy and you gotta keep up cleaning and laundry. <laughs> or you will go crazy with a messy house as well. Now that's all the questions I have for you guys today. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your questions. I tried, I went through all of them. I answered about 25 or 30, I think. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications about when new videos upload. I hope you like this video. Bye you guys.